Welcome to the Cary Systems Technical Institute video training series. This program will review the DOORS 32 DOORS for Windows software basic installation and configuration. The presentation consists of 16 modules. For proper installation and configuration of the software, please view the modules in the order listed. This will ensure that the information needed for programming will have been created and is available. Modules 1 through 9 will guide you through the installation of the software onto the host PC and configuring the hardware and operating parameters for proper programming and operation. Modules 10 through 16 review additional features used for basic system operation, communication between the host PC and controller network, and manual control of the doors, inputs, and outputs. This is module 15 of 16, Setup Operators. Operators are individuals who have control over the configuration and operation of the DOORS software. To access the Setup Operators window, select Setup from the drop-down menu, and then click on Operators. This feature is only accessible from the Setup pull-down menu. Up to 32 unique operators can be defined. Use the scroll bar on the bottom or right side of the window to scan through the list of operators. Configuration and operation rights can be set by operator. Use the scroll bar to scan through the list of parameters to be set. One of three configuration values can be assigned depending on the category of that value. Yes allows the operator to perform this operation. No does not allow the operator to perform the operation. And read only allows the operator to view but not edit this operation. The carry default operator is configured to have full configuration rights. There should always be one such default operator. Kerry recommends you change the default operator name and password to ensure system security. Names and passwords are case sensitive. Enter the operator's name. All operator initiated events will include the operator's name, making report reading easier and providing accountability. The name should be no more than 15 characters. Enter the password assigned to the operator in both the password and retype password fields. Again, no more than 15 characters. Each character appears as an asterisk, so please type carefully. Doors compares the two passwords. If they do not match, the operator will not be saved. Work your way across the row, setting the desired configuration rights. Click on each field to toggle between the options available for that field. And note that not all of the options are available for every field. The options are as follows. Setup users allows the operator to perform user enrollment and unenrollment functions. Setup system allows the operator to perform controller and door configuration commands. Setup time zones allows the operator to create, edit, and delete time zones and holiday schedules. Setup access groups allows an operator to create, edit, and delete access groups. Setup monitor allows an operator to view, modify, and define monitor windows. Setup operators allows an operator to create, edit, or delete operators. Operate Doors allows the operator to perform the manual door unlocking and locking commands and to perform the database update commands. Output Control allows an operator to manually control controller output relays. Grant Amnesty allows an operator to manually grant anti-passback amnesty to system users. The anti-passback option must be turned on first, and anti-passback is taught in its own separate KTI module. The Start Monitor option allows an operator to start a real-time event monitor. The Stop Monitor allows an operator to stop a real-time monitor. 
Start monitor one, two, and three defines which of the three available real-time monitors an operator is allowed to start or stop. Event reports allows an operator to generate searchable database event reports. Doors reports allows an operator to generate predefined controller parameter and system event reports. Launch backup allows an operator to launch the backup program. Exit program allows an operator to exit the door program, closing it and returning to the operating system. Enroll, this is for secondary IDs when using dual verification. Show secondary ID allows an operator to see the secondary ID when using dual verification. Once all the operator parameters have been entered, they must be saved. If they are not saved and the setup operator window is closed, all entries are lost and must be re-entered. Click the Save button to save operator information. To delete an operator from the system, select the operator's name, click the Delete button. The operator name and password are cleared and all operating parameters are reset to No. Use the block and copy commands to give several operators the same configuration and operation privileges. This saves time in programming different operators with the same privileges. Select the operator by clicking on the name of that operator from which the information will be copied to other operators. Then click the block button. Click on the row to which to copy, then click the Copy button. Enter the different operator name and password information, and click the Save button to save the operator information. This concludes Module 15 of 16, Setup Operators.